just up at Horsnell's Gully, walking up Death Track. And just trying to trying to listen for bikes, listen for people coming, because there's nowhere really to walk up this track when you're not on a dangerous line or in a dangerous spot, which is the same for a lot of trails. But this one especially because it's quite rocky either side and a lot of trees, you must try and stay off the main line at least. So up here, main line's on our left, you can see there. So I'm gonna try and walk up the right just in case because by the time I hear them, I won't have a lot of time to get out of the way, so. Try and get over here where there's no, no traffic. And it's just a, you know, you might be out in the middle of the day, middle of the week, when no one ever rides, but it's just a safe precaution because a collision on a mountain bike, on a mountain bike trail, colliding with a person, you might as well be colliding with a tree. It is not pretty for either party, and regardless of who's at fault, it ruins two people's day and week and maybe month and maybe life, so just be mindful when you're pushing up tracks or stopping on trails or anything like that. Just treat it as if someone might be coming. Here's where it goes from dirt to rock and sand. It's pretty much rock the whole way down, but some nice dirt for a lot of it from here down. From here up, it's just nice, techy, loose, rocky kind of shoots or semi shoots. That's killer. Doesn't look like it's been ridden at all, really. Very little traffic down here, but they have fixed the, the bottom step down where the, the I know it was the gun club or whoever else, whoever did it, put a blockage at the bottom of the track, super dangerous. Um, no signage saying they've done it or anything, just uh, took the bottom of the jump out and put a fat boulder, like a couple of hundred kilo boulder on the landing. So you come in hot and blind and uh, yeah, you hit that and you on the way to the hospital real quick so that was absolutely not on fair enough if you want to tell us to to not use the trail anymore or something like that let us know and uh if you're going to block it block it block it where it's safe but what they did what they did with this was absolutely not on so we'll see what comes of that yeah this is as gnarly as it's always been super loose rocky more washed out. Every season it gets more washed out, so the holes get bigger. And uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's got the <laughs> got the juices flowing a bit. That's for sure. So this should be fun. I'll have a tickle up the top and make sure the bike feels alright. And drop in. See if we can pick our way down this sucker. Like I said, it's been a quite a while since I've ridden this and. Yeah, nothing's changed. Still seems all the same. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, I'll get it dancing. I think I could probably button off the rebound at the front just a touch, but. Woohoo! Just hanging. I've gone a little soft on the back on the compression to just allow me to track over this oh this real loose stuff oh that was close last minute change of line definitely reckon throw that front down a touch this is super sketchy these days so i thought i was going to clip a pedal there oh, i should have gone outside there no. Watch that stick on the left. Woo Out of fourth, not too bad.
This is a sketchy bit, yes! Woo. Now we're surfing from here down pretty much. Oh! Oh, that is blown. And so is that. Oh! Yeah, killer. Oh! Oh yeah, I haven't ridden stuff like this for a long, long time. We pedal bottom out on the right there. Back end's still a bit rough. Never really found a good setup on this shot. I'll go around this. Young lad broke his collarbone jumping down there with a there was a walker or a protester or something. And uh, yeah, messed him up. And then let's have a look at this. So we got a lander now, that's cool. Sweet, so that was death track. That track's gnarly. And very, very rewarding. I had a lot of fun just then, so that tells me maybe maybe I can button off the compression again on the back. <sighs> Have a play, that a fork. That felt quite good. A little pokey on the rebound and maybe just not quite the compression I need. But it's at 102 now at no no token. And uh, three clicks of compression. Just enough compression. Two clicks wasn't enough. It's funny, it changes every time. But feeling killer so I've been on this 108 engagement for a couple of days now uh, Anstey's Hill Moriata and just this track here that we've just done death track and I definitely prefer the 108 for climbing it's just in the technical bits not a big deal but it's definitely better now descending I think I'm feeling more through my feet for sure so it's not a lot but it definitely feels a little bit more uh, a little bit more stout I guess it would be a good way to describe it so uh, not not stout um, like, yeah a little stout it's like more resistant to get into that travel um, on the on the repeated hits or the fast hits still smooth but I think you're just feeling a little bit more in the feet it's only subtle but it's I think the 54 is definitely better for that um, but then going down to the 18 I remember last time I did that it was just clappy so uh, yeah not too yeah I'm not too fast on having the 54 over the over the the 108 I think I prefer the 54 for sure and the biggest thing with this 108 Bontrager hub is the because of the six pulls so you got go from three pulls to six pulls so the angle of engagement someone mentioned on on one of the videos about the angle of, uh, actually on my insta the angle of engagement uh, doesn't change uh, but what's happening in there is it's often not all the time but often you go to crank and it's like one of the pulls isn't engaged properly and it's just like a little crunch and then it's good to go and i think that's what's causing all these hubs to implode these bontrager hubs so i'm going to take it out purely out of safety as well to, to hopefully elongate the life of this hub because it's flawless with the three pulls flawless at the 54 and it spins i think it spins a bit more freely nah that's probably minor I just changed the uh, bearings as well so that's probably affecting the how it spins 
So it feels good, but feels better with the 54, I believe. So I'm gonna take it out and less chance of wrecking this hub. So, and this brake, this SRAM code brake, just uh, the bottom of that run, that was all good. And then got off the brake and then got back on the brake to pull down a wheelie. And I uh, almost went off the back because there was no brake there. Like, but pulled all the way to the lever before it grabbed it. Only just grabbed in time. So I've wound it all the way out on the hand adjust, the tool free adjust, and I've got enough brake to get me through, but it's, yeah, it's not good. And I, I, I wouldn't say I just burned a set of brake pads on a two minute run, sandy run. Like I did use the back end of the paddle for sure, like on the brake a fair bit, but not enough to destroy the pads, no way. So I'm gonna have to bleed them again and see what's going on. They burped or something. That's not good. Maybe that's a push towards a set of XTs. We'll see.